Franklin County crews waiting for floodwaters to recede before looking at more potential damage. Crews had an early morning carrying out water rescues after flash flooding washed away a bridge in the southern part of the county. 5 News reporter Bailey Devane joining us live from Branch, Arkansas, where water is still waist deep in some areas. Bailey. That's right. Since we've been out here, we've seen a few vehicles go past the barrier and plow through the water on West Euclid Street. Now, emergency managers are telling us that these road signs are here for a reason and people should not attempt to cross this street. It's going to cost around $100,000 to replace the Wadalula Bridge after it was completely washed away by floodwaters early this morning. Crews were attempting to rescue a woman after she was trapped in her vehicle when they discovered the bridge was gone. Early this morning, uh, Franklin County Judge Ricky Bowman contacted the Arkansas Division of Emergency Management, made a verbal declaration of a disaster. East Euclid Street, half a mile off Highway 22 in Branch, is covered in water. Emergency managers say that pieces of the road could have been washed away underneath the floodwaters, and there are a few roads scattered across the county that look very similar. Plan some alternate routes. Uh, we realize it's an inconvenience. Uh, I know the bus, bus routes for the public schools are having to take different routes. But emergency managers are getting ready for another potentially rainy weekend, which could cause these affected areas in Franklin County to flood even further but they are teaming up with surrounding counties to take on the damages. We have experienced these things in the past, which, uh, you know, historic relevance is, is very important. We learn from it and we learn how to pre-plan. Crews still need to assess the different bridges and roads that were damaged to see just how much it'll cost to fix everything. But we just saw RDOT make a stop out here to take a look at these road conditions. I'm live in Branch covering news where you live. Bailey Devane, 5 News.